Well, doctors often recommend that women breastfeed their newborns if they can. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Alec Gartner shows us how Kansas health officials are helping to educate new moms on the topic. It's Breastfeeding Awareness Month, and health departments like this one in Shawnee County are helping many women across the state. More than 80% of Kansas mothers have breastfed their babies, but numbers start to decline as babies get older. Women, Infants, and Children, or WIC programs at county health departments help mothers stay with it. A lot of them is that they're going back to work, and it's just a coordinating, pumping and going to work and all. It takes a lot of um, a lot of energy to, to, to keep doing that. We really are trying to get education before women become pregnant to know that breastfeeding is the norm, but once they become pregnant to know what to expect. The program shows mothers why nutrients in breast milk are so important to growing babies. Breastfed babies are healthier. They have less incidences of childhood illnesses as well as throughout their life. Mothers that qualify for WIC can receive counseling, breast pumps, and a comfortable place to feed their child. Sometimes it just takes some practice for, for mom and baby. They're both new at this, trying to learn how, how to breastfeed. And so sometimes there's some little tips we can give moms to help them get a, a good latch and make sure they they're get a good feeding. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends exclusive breastfeeding for six months and to supplement it with other foods for at least a year. A lot of women might not know all of the, the things that go into breastfeeding and we're there to help them to be successful. If you don't qualify as a WIC recipient, many hospitals where the women gave birth offer similar services. Reporting in Topeka, I'm Alec Gartner. And Governor Kelly will hold a proclamation signing tomorrow morning recognizing Breastfeeding Awareness Month.